Hi guys, it's Wombat, and I'm not very well known for driving buses, and I will never be known for driving buses because I most often do not drive buses. But today I am in a bus, and that's the second time I am, I'm in a bus in my 200 plus videos. And the reason I'm in a bus today is because I'm angry <laughs> yeah um, sort of well I'm not angry but you know I'm, I'm a bit uh, upset because I was just as I always do quite often do going through Facebook and watching some of the ETS and ATS pages on, on um, Facebook and there was this guy asking, is it possible to drive a bus on ETS? And he was immediately slammed, told to go play another game. Um, and that essentially it was impossible to play or drive a bus on ETS because it's a trucking game. And that's true, it is a trucking game. But sneeze someone off like that and saying that it can't be done, that kind of makes me angry. So today, because of that, because of that ETS player claim that you can't use a bus or bus mods on ETS, this is for you. There are essentially three ways you can drive a bus and transport people from A to B on ETS. You can either use a map that includes uh, passengers or you can use a bus station mod or you can add a passengers as cargo mod. The one that usually works best in my opinion is the mods, uh, the, the maps like EAA, for instance, that includes uh, passenger mods, and even there is a special version of EAA that is solely focusing on passengers and buses. There are other maps as well, um, but that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is putting those bus stations that are all over the place in ETS2 and were supposed to be used for bus transports in ETS2, <laughs> uh, put them into use with mods that actually makes passengers available in those places. And the third and possibly easiest one on maps that do not include passenger support is to just have the passengers uh, as or more or less regular cargo in the places where you normally pick up cargo. Today I'm not going to look at the maps that include passenger support, but I will be looking at both bus station mods and passenger mods and what's the pros and cons of those. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're looking at is bus station. Bus station, as I said earlier, uh, put those bus stations that are already in the game in a lot of places into use and also use places like this, a bus, a regular bus stop, uh, to allow you to pick up cargo, sorry, passengers and their cargo. Uh, it kind of works. But a problem with it is that it's very s sensitive about what bus mods you use. And there are several buses, I think it's three different models, four perhaps, that are uh, named as working with this. This is a bus that happens to be one of those and it kind of works. It's not perfect in any way. 
and usually you'll have to drive over the invisible uh, trailer or whatever you should call it that is actually the the the, the cargo uh, and then back up again like I did right now and even then it doesn't work all the time and as you can see there's something underneath my bus there you can't see it but you can see the suspension in the front there is being raised and now it's lowering itself and then it's racing uh, at the two axes at the back um, there we go uh, so that is one way of doing it and you know the rest of it it's just like driving any bus really and even if the mod clearly states what buses it is compatible with, it works with other buses as well. And I suspect that is more about the height of the uh, ground clearance, the ground clearance than the actual bus, because that's this this is the Freightliner school bus, the F65. And if we look at that and. It's a terrible mod, by the way. It's horrible. I don't like it at all. I thought I would, but I don't. Um, I can't get up there. It's bloody impossible to get over that invisible trailer. So what I need to do in that case is to just go around it. I'm gonna give it a last one, and now nah, it doesn't work. So what you do is you go around it, and then you back onto it instead. That works in most cases. I have had cases as well where I'm just tilting the invisible trailer uh, which can cause uh, sorts, lots of different interesting problems but there we have it and we can get on our way. A third example is this Scania bus that isn't supposed to be compatible with this mod and um, yeah <laughs> i can assure you it isn't well it, it is but it isn't uh it's just as compatible as the freightliner f65 but um in this case as i'll show you the result is uh, really horrible uh, and i made a lot of research before i made this video um, this is not something you'll see in any other video, <laughs> how bad it really works. <laughs> and yeah, uh, so instead I'm just gonna move my bus and press F9 and teleport it. And there you go, but unfortunately... <laughs> The invisible trailer is kind of tilted, so the result is a bus that isn't really drivable. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work. But as I said, this, the bus mod, this, or the bus station mod, it does work with um, some buses. Uh, most of the time, but do not expect a result that is flawless in any way. And there we go, the... I unloaded the passengers, and there we go, there is the ult. <laughs> yeah, so um, you'll, you'll see some of that unless you use one of the... Uh, buses that are claimed to be compatible they aren't 100% compatible any of them but any I'd say bus with high ground clearance should be okay then we have these passenger mods uh, which basically is the same thing but uh, when bus station is just one mod there are several different passenger mods and they they work the same way but in, in this case with this uh, passenger uh, mod the uh, trailer doesn't seem to mind the height of the bus in the same way that bus station does uh, so I will be able to even if I 
even if I struggle a bit to get it done I will get the passengers on here and it's the same uh, with this one as it is with the bus station mod you'll probably have to back up or well, you do have to back up in this case because they are located in the same places where you normally pick up cargo if you decide you want to try using a bus on, on maps that do not support passenger mods or do not have them built in um, this is the only step you really need to look into how well does it work with the buses I want to use when I pick up passengers uh, getting the passengers off and completing your run, your drive, your haul, whatever you want to call it when it's a bus um, isn't gonna be a problem or at least it haven't been a problem for me with any of these buses or mods it is this thing where you pick your passengers up that is the one point where I've had so many problems and just as an example um, here is one drop off. Uh, it, it's it's it feels kinda odd, kinda odd when you have to do the drop offs uh, in places like this. But well, at least you get to haul a haul in a bus or drive in a bus. Um, so there you go, no problem whatsoever. Of course, that also means yeah, that you'll be able to drive a bus where you would normally never ever see a bus probably um, so in this case I'm gonna pick up some of the slaves that have been uh, uh, imprisoned in the mine for several years and uh, get them out to freedom or whatever story you decide to make up uh, justifying going down <laughs> into a quarry with a bus but you know yeah it, it, it works as well so the links to both bus station and uh, the passenger mod is in the uh, description for this video. I suggest you try them both out with whatever bus you like to use and see if it works or not. And unfortunately there will probably be buses that doesn't work with either of them, but they are there and if it doesn't work with the first bus you try out try another one and see if that works that's the best i can do for you guys unfortunately there are no perfect bus station or passenger mod at least not that i'm aware of but driving a bus on ets picking up passengers it's totally doable the game supports it in just the same way that the game supports any other mod that is available and with that said thank you for watching happy bus driving bye bye